Djibouti inaugurated Thursday the largest free trade zone in Africa, designed to enable it to take full advantage of its strategic location at the entrance of the Red Sea. At a ceremony in the capital Djibouti city, Djiboutian President Ismail Omagele praised the merits of what he called a flagship project. La zone franche internationale de Djibouti. Djibouti's international free zone is a flagship project. It culminates a significant number of infrastructure projects that have seen the light of day in recent years and that are helping to strengthen Djibouti's position in international trade and commerce. Somali President Mohamed Abdullahi Mohamed Famajo called the project a victory for Africa. His words were echoed by Sudanese President Omar al-Bashir and Rwandan President Paul Kagame. I just wanted to say how happy I am to be joining you, Mr. President, for the inauguration of this very important facility that will not only serve Djibouti, but also the wider region of our continent. Sitting on 4,800 hectares, the project is estimated to cost $3.5 billion. Its construction is expected to take over 10 years. It aims to allow foreign companies to set up processing industries and to add value to products. In this case, the expected economic impact of this international free trade zone is a contribution of $200 million on the gross domestic product. That is, 11% of the GDP in the pilot phase of exploitation of 2.4 kilometers square and a rise in power to the horizons 2035 to 2040. Djibouti is located along one of the busiest maritime routes in the world, between the Indian Ocean and the Suez Canal. The country opened three new ports and a railway line to Ethiopia in 2017 as part of its project to become the region's trade hub.